a customer approaches a financial institution to access a loan. The institution delegates the evaluation of the application to an AI system that analyzes the applicant's characteristics to estimate the likelihood that he or she will repay the loan within the granted time frame. Based on the result of the algorithm, the person will or will not get the loan. Is the algorithm unbiased or affected by bias? Are the results it produces biased by irrelevant and sensitive characteristics such as gender or ethnicity? Briox Alchemy is a tool to investigate the algorithm's decisions and assess its impartiality, bringing to light any biases. The BRIO and Alchemy partnership resulted in the first version of Briox Alchemy, an open source tool for evaluating the fairness of the output of machine learning models. The tool focuses in particular on bias, understood as the tendency of algorithms to favor or disfavor certain groups of individuals and opacity or the difficulty of identifying the mechanisms behind the decisions of AI algorithms. Any dataset data frame that contains the information of individuals and the predictions produced by the algorithm can be loaded. In this demo, we are using real data from a financial institution containing the characteristics of customers and the estimated probability of default for each of them. The tool offers two types of analysis. FrexFrec compares predictions among various groups of individuals defined by one or more characteristics, and evaluates how much the algorithm tends to favor or disfavor one group over others. The second analysis, FrexRef, analyzes the AI's decisions and compares them with the benchmark outcome, REF benchmark, that is considered reliable or desirable. The program offers several options for customizing the analysis to obtain results that are as useful as possible for the scenario being addressed. In particular, it offers the ability to choose the type of distance used to compare AI predictions across groups and the ability to choose any variable available to compare groups of individuals. In the example shown in this video, we use the variable x2sex as the sensitive variable, that is, the one we want to preserve from bias by checking against its modes the algorithm's predictions contained in the variable predictions. To refine the analysis, we use the variables x3 education and x4 marriage as conditioning variables. That is, we ask whether exploring groups of individuals who differ in terms of education and marital status will reveal biases not previously visible. Being a modular tool and open to the developer community, new options will be gradually integrated to make it more and more useful and close to the user's needs. For the entire population of individuals and for each subgroup analyzed, the results of the analysis are reported. Any occurrences of bias are defined as violations and reported from most severe to least severe in the appropriate section on the left. With the configuration and variables used in this video, an overall level bias seems to emerge, shown at the top of this screenshot. In terms of subgroups, the strongest bias signal emerges for the Education 5 and Marriage 3 groups. The 75 individuals belonging to the X3 Education 5 group, that is, the no degree category, show a marked difference between males and females in terms of predicted default probability. The estimated distance between males and females is no less than the threshold, and in terms of probability is 0.67, which is above the safety threshold of 0.17. The second analysis made available by the tool is FrexRef, which as mentioned compares the results of the AI algorithm with reference results deemed reliable or desirable. In this screen, the user can set the reference distribution by specifying its values manually. Also in this example, we use the variable x2sex as the sensitive variable, that is, the one we want to preserve from bias by checking against its modes the algorithm's predictions contained in the variable predictions. To refine the analysis, we use the variables x3 education and x4 marriage as conditioning variables. That is, we ask whether exploring different groups of individuals in terms of education and marital status reveals biases not previously visible in this case with respect to a reference distribution. The reference distribution is entered below, and in this case requires that for both males and females, the default probability is 
The results obtained for each group of individuals analyzed are also shown for FREXREF, with any violations, in this case, deviations from the reference distribution, reported in the appropriate section on the left. In this example, a deviation at the overall level from the reference distribution is detected. At the subgroup level, Education 4 stands out for which the deviation from the reference distribution is greatest. The 40 individuals belonging to the X3 Education 4 group, that is the middle school license category, show a marked difference between males and females in terms of the predicted probability of default from the reference distribution. The estimated distance from the reference distribution is not less than the threshold and in terms of probability is one for both sexes, that is the maximum possible distance above the safety threshold of 0.18. Thanks to the results produced by BR IOX Alchemy, any data scientist, data analyst or insider can assess possible bias of AI models used for their applications. The team will continue to enrich the tool and popularize its potential 